It has been five days now since a head-on collision in Anderson killed two members of a Noblesville family. The crash killed a man and his son. His wife and daughter are still in the hospital. Eyewitness News reporter Rich Van Wyk says their families are speaking about the tragedy for the first time and the man accused of causing it. Rich? John, mother and daughter are still hospitalized. Today, members of the Oberhardt family left the rooms they spent so much time visiting to talk with reporters and tell their story. It is a story about loss, a story about love, a story about sacrificing one life for another, and a story of hope. Everyone is still in shock. And yet at the same time, someone awestruck. We're amazed and thankful that we have two survivors. It was so possible that we could have had zero survivors. Saturday's collision took the lives of Daniel Oberhart and 24-year-old son Riley. Kathleen and their daughter Macy survived. The 14-year-old told detectives how her brother saved her life. He managed to get his body between the impact and Macy. It does not surprise me at all. Um, Macy and Riley have always had a very close and loving relationship. The family was returning home from Macy's birthday party in Anderson. A robbery suspect fleeing police crashed into their car head on. The police were doing their job. They were doing what they had to do regardless of whether the pursuit was called off or not. The fault lies on the suspect and no one else. The suspect, Gary Agnew, died in the crash. Family members didn't want to even mention his name. They held hands the entire time they spoke with reporters, describing a family bound together by love. Daniel and Kathleen's life together began as high school sweethearts. They've been together for so long, and they just brought that love and support in amongst their family. And um, I mean, it was their whole world, it was their family, it was their whole world. The large and close-knit family expects Kathleen and Macy will make a full but long recovery. They are healing well. Um, there's going to be a significant recovery process. The family said Kathleen's biggest concern at first was how she was going to pay all the funeral bills and medical bills. A GoFundMe page is up and running. John, we've put a link to that page on our website, WTHR.com.